Ever wonder about the secret life thriving beneath your garden? Welcome to a journey that takes us down, deep into the world under your feet. A world that is teeming with life, brimming with potential, and essential to the growth and health of your garden. That's right, we're talking about soil. This overlooked, underappreciated element is the foundation of every successful garden. It's where seeds sprout, roots burrow, and life begins. But what makes one type of soil better than another? How does it affect your plants? And how can you improve it to ensure a healthier, more vibrant garden? In the next few minutes, we'll unravel the mystery of soil. We'll delve into its composition, explore its properties, and discover its hidden secrets. We'll also reveal how you can test your soil and improve its quality. So get ready to dig in, because soil is much more than just dirt. It's a living, breathing entity that needs your care. Soil is a complex blend of minerals, organic matter, and life. But what does this mean for your garden? Delving into the world beneath our feet, we find three primary types of soil, sand, silt, and clay. Each type is defined by the size of its particles. Sand, with the largest particles, drains quickly and warms up fast in the sun. However, it doesn't hold on to nutrients well. Silt, with medium-sized particles, has a silky texture and is fertile but can compact easily, hindering plant root growth. Clay, with the smallest particles, holds on to nutrients and water but drains slowly and can be hard for roots to penetrate. Now imagine these three types blended together in various proportions. This creates what we call soil texture. For instance, a loamy soil, often considered the ideal garden soil, is a balanced mix of sand, silt, and clay. This texture influences how well your soil can hold water and nutrients, and how easy it is for roots to grow. But there's more to soil than just its physical structure. The pH level, a measure of acidity or alkalinity, is crucial too. Most plants prefer a slightly acidic to neutral pH between 6 and 7. However, some plants like blueberries and azaleas thrive in more acidic soils. If your soil's pH isn't right for your plants, they may struggle to absorb the nutrients they need, even if those nutrients are present. Our gardens are home to an array of plants, each with their unique soil preferences. So, understanding your soil type and pH level can help you choose the right plants for your garden, or adjust your soil to better suit the plants you have. Soil, this humble mix of minerals, organic matter, and microscopic life, plays a vital role in your garden's health. It's the foundation of your garden, the bedrock upon which everything else is built. Understanding your soil type is the first step towards a healthier garden. Your plants are talking, are you listening? Just as a doctor looks for symptoms to diagnose an illness, gardeners can look for signs that indicate the health of their soil. Let's dive right into the signs of unhealthy soil. The first one is poor plant growth. If your plants aren't thriving or are showing slow growth despite adequate sunlight and watering, it might not be the plants at fault, but the soil. Unhealthy soil lacks the necessary nutrients and minerals required for optimal plant growth. So if your plants are looking a bit under the weather, your soil might be the culprit. Next we have soil compaction. When soil becomes compacted, it restricts plant roots from growing freely. This is because compacted soil has fewer air spaces, making it difficult for roots to penetrate. It also means water cannot drain away easily, leading to waterlogging. Waterlogging is another red flag. If water pools on the surface of your garden after watering or a rainfall, it's a clear indicator of poor soil health. It suggests that your soil has poor drainage, which can suffocate plant roots and lead to root rot. Another symptom of unhealthy soil is the presence of persistent weeds. Weeds can be a sign of soil imbalance. Some weeds thrive in compacted soil, while others prefer acidic conditions. If your garden is overrun by weeds, it might be time to take a closer look at your soil conditions. The color of your plants can also provide clues about your soil health. Plant discoloration such as yellow or brown leaves can indicate a nutrient deficiency in your soil. Similarly, if your plants have stunted growth or are wilting, it might be due to a lack of essential nutrients in the soil. So you see, your garden is constantly communicating with you. It's revealing the secrets of what lies beneath its surface. The trick is to understand these signs and act upon them. Recognizing these signs early can save your garden from a lot of trouble. So, keep your eyes open and keep your garden thriving. Want to know how healthy your soil is? You don't need to be a scientist. Wouldn't it be great to get a snapshot of your soil's health right from the comfort of your own backyard? Well, you can. And today we're going to show you how. First off, let's talk about soil texture. Soil texture is determined by the proportions of sand, silt, and clay in your soil. A simple, hands-on way to figure this out is the jar test. 
Fill a clear jar about halfway with soil and top it off with water. Give it a good shake then let it settle. Sand will sink to the bottom, followed by silt then clay. By comparing the layers you can get a rough idea of your soil's composition. Next up we're diving into the world of pH, which measures how acidic or alkaline your soil is. This is crucial because it affects the availability of essential nutrients for your plants. Testing your soil's pH is easier than you might think. You can get a soil testing kit online or from your local garden store. Just follow the instructions on the box. If you're looking for a more DIY approach you can also use vinegar and baking soda. If your soil fizzes in vinegar it's alkaline. If it fizzes in baking soda water it's acidic. Remember there's no such thing as bad soil. Every garden is unique and what works for one might not work for another. These tests are just tools to help you understand what you're working with. So, get out there, get your hands dirty, test your soil. You might be surprised by what you find. With these simple tests, you're one step closer to understanding your garden better. And remember, a healthy garden starts with healthy soil. So let's start digging into the secrets beneath our feet. Now that you understand your soil, it's time to make it better. Soil amendment is like giving your garden a vitamin boost. It's about adding beneficial substances to your soil to improve its physical nature and the overall health of your garden. Now you might be wondering, what exactly are these substances? Well, they can be organic or inorganic. Organic amendments are things like compost, manure, or bone meal. They improve the soil structure, add nutrients, and increase the soil's ability to hold water. Compost, for instance, is a gardener's gold. It's rich in nutrients and beneficial microbes that help your plants thrive. Manure, on the other hand, is a great source of nitrogen a nutrient essential for plant growth. Then there are inorganic amendments like lime or gypsum. These don't necessarily add nutrients but they can help adjust the soil's pH. Lime, for example, can help sweeten a sour, acidic soil. But how do you apply these amendments? Easy, just spread them over your garden and mix them into the top layer of soil. Keep in mind though that more isn't always better. Too much of a good thing can throw your soil's balance off. So, be sure to follow recommended application rates. And remember, amending soil isn't a one-time thing, it's a continuous process. Your garden soil will need regular doses of these amendments to stay in peak condition. A little amendment can go a long way in boosting your soil's health. Soil care isn't a one-time job, it's an ongoing commitment. Just as we humans need regular checkups and a balanced diet, our garden soil requires consistent attention and care to stay healthy. A key aspect of this is aeration. Regular aeration helps to reduce soil compaction, allowing roots to spread, and facilitating the movement of water, nutrients, and air. You can aerate your garden soil by simply turning it over with a garden fork or spade. This is best done in the cooler months to avoid drying out the soil and harming beneficial microorganisms. Watering is another crucial part of soil care. The trick here is to strike a balance. Overwatering can lead to waterlogging and root rot, while underwatering can leave your plants gasping for moisture. The goal is to keep the soil consistently moist, but not waterlogged. A good rule of thumb is to water deeply and less frequently, allowing the water to reach the deeper root zones. And let's not forget about mulching, a wonderful technique to conserve moisture, suppress weeds, and add organic matter back to the soil. A layer of compost, straw, or shredded leaves can do wonders for your soil health. Remember, it's all about fostering a living, breathing ecosystem beneath your plants. It takes time and effort but the rewards are well worth it. With consistent care, your soil can support a thriving garden.